Let Me In, which is the English language remake of Let the Right One In, which was the Thomas L. Fredson movie adapted from a novel, which is inspired, uh, takes its title from a song by Morrissey. Story is of a young, outcast, bullied boy living in a, a block of uh, housing or flats who discovers an unlikely friendship with a young girl living nearby him with whom he shares on the one hand an outsiderness on the other hand discovers that actually her life may be hiding strange and weird secrets of its own here's a very brief clip from the english language remake uh, let me in are you a vampire i need blood to live but how old are you really 12 but i've been 12 for a very long time now, the weird thing about this is, as you probably know, and it, because it's you know it's open now, and it's at number nine, number eight, which means it hasn't done spectacularly well. But the reviews for it were pretty, pretty impressive. I mean, it's got some five star reviews. Some critics have said better than the original. Many critics have said you know up there with the original. An awful lot of people said if you haven't seen the original, then this, that, and the other. Okay. My problem with Let Me In, and I believe me, I saw it quite early on, and I've been mulling on this for quite a long time. I remember I said quite early after having seen it, the central thing is that the original is a film about children that happens to have vampires in it, and the remake manages to be a film about vampires that happens to have children in it. The central thing in the original film is that it's all about being an outcast. It's all about the anger and the rage of childhood, and it's, it's about the way in which that anger and rage expresses itself. And although it has vampires in it, it is not a vampire movie. Once you look at the publicity for Let Me In, you realise that actually what they're attempting to do is to reconfigure it for the Twilight audience. It's got the, you know, the funny contact lensy eyes, everything about it, everything about the, the imagery for it is telling you that it's, it's you know, it's essentially, it's, it's in the vampire area rather than in the, than in the children area. And I am genuinely quite amazed and befuddled by how good the reviews of Let Me In have been, because let's be quite clear about this. You don't need to remake Let the Right One In. If you make Let the Right One In and you make it as well as that, I mean, there are there are occasional false steps in Let the Right One In. I mean, the scene with the cats, for example, is, is a false step. But actually, the whole tone of the movie is so strange and off kilter in a way which is so perfectly about what it's like to be an awkward kid that the idea of transmogrifying that into some strangely homogenized uh, you know english language remake is infuriating from the outset you know there's been a lot of stuff recently that the guy who directed the original um, girl with the dragon tattoo has expressed his disdain for the fact that it's being remade in american uh, remake of david fincher the issue is clearly that uh, you know people don't like to read subtitles so let's see it again in the english language well look if you were up to understanding let the right one in you are not going to have been put off by the subtitles if you're the kind of person who was put off by the subtitles you're not up to understanding let the right one in the most annoying thing about let me in and there are a million annoying things about it like they didn't have special effects for let's do special effects um you know they, 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 they things were ambiguous for let's make them not ambiguous the thing that's really annoying about it is that whenever it whenever it works it works because it's almost directly mimicking the original in a way which suggests that the people who made it the Cloverfield guys, understood the original well enough to know why it is that they shouldn't have remade it in the first place. And I mean, I'm very clear about this. It's inexcusable and there's no reason for it. You don't need to do this, right? If you haven't seen Let the Right One In, let that after one, go, you know, get it on DVD. Get it on DVD now. And if at the end of that you feel the need to go off and see the English language remake, well, fine. That's your Let business. me ask the question, though, that everyone else has uh, then brings up. If you haven't up, seen the original, Mark, well, you do you think it would feel differently about well, it? Well, you don't have to do it in that stupid I do have to do it in that stupid... Accent, because it's a legitimate question. Well, as if as it comes to... If one has not seen the original, would you go to this and think, do you know what, actually... That's quite a good film. I'd sit there and think, what am I doing here? Why am I... You know, I'll tell you what it's like. Now, if it's... one... If, what, if that is not available. Oh, okay. If this weekend... But it is available. Not it at is the cinema. Available. No, I'm, not I'm the... queuing up at the cinema. I haven't seen the original. Mm -hmm. When I go and see this film, I'll be thinking, well, I'd like to see the original, but that was quite a good film. Will I not? No, you'll sit there thinking, why am I here not watching the original? If you haven't seen because the original... Because the original isn't on. It's on DVD. I'm in the cinema. It was in the cinema, and now it's on but DVD. But it's not now. Well, go see something else. But I don't want... I want to see okay, this. OK, here's the thing, right? I'm you're, watching it anyway. Here's the thing. You're queuing up outside the Louvre, right? And somebody says, 
The Mona Lisa says it in French. So the Mona Lisa is not here. The Mona Lisa is being cleaned, but it's all right. We have a very good uh, painter. He's coming. He's done a, a, a copy of it. Yes, it's not bad. No, and they can say. And By say, the way, excuse yes. me. This is in English with a French accent. Yeah. You said in French. That's just okay. The, that's the, the, the Mona Lisa said, "It's il est disparu, disparu. On y va, on y va." But mais ici, il est on uh, image replic replicature postcard. Pres pos no, not even a postcard. Card de poste. It's like yeah, we, you know. I'm sorry, we took away the Da Vinci, but on the but you know, but Mr. DiCaprio or somebody has done a copy of it. And would you like to look at that? Because I tell you what, if you haven't seen the Mona Lisa, the copy's pretty good in French.